to sew a standard zipper, the first thing you want to do is pin your sample pieces together. And this is to represent where the zipper is going to go, the back opening of a skirt, let's say. Next, it says to mark eight inches down from the top with a marking pencil. So there's six inches. I'll do two additional inches and mark that there. The next step says to baste from the top of the skirt to that opening. And then it says to stitch a standard stitch, so not basing, normal two and a half length with back stitch, from the marking to the bottom. So to baste, I'm going to move my length to a five setting. And then I'm going to start by sewing the top of my skirt at 5 8 inch. I don't need to back stitch, so I'm going to start on the very edge. And I'm going to sew until I get to that marking that I created, which is 8 inches down. When I get to this marking, it tells me to sew normal. So I'm going to pause and change my length back to two and a half. I'm then going to stitch forward a little bit and do a back stitch up into that marking because I want from this point down to be permanent. And I'm going to continue sewing to the edge and back. Next, I want to press open my seam allowance that I just sewed all the way down so that I can apply my zipper. The next step is to place my zipper facing downward right in that seam allowance. And it says to measure one inch down from the top for positioning my zipper. So I'm going to count this metal part as the top measure one inch down and position it so that that metal top opening, the pull tab of the zipper, is one inch from the top of my uh, fabric, the top of my skirt. Then it says to pin this zipper tape, we're going to call it, this edge, to the seam allowance. So I'm just going to pin this along the seam allowance, keeping it in the center. So it's a little tricky. You have to keep the zipper centered on the seam allowance and pin it in place. So I'm not going through all the fabric. I'm just going through the seam allowance that I just sewed. Three pins should be good. And then I'm going to do the other side. I think it helps to just lift up the seam allowance like this and pinch it with your fingers and put a few pins in place. And now it says to baste that zipper tape, the tape again is this black edge, to just the seam allowance. So I'm going to, again, turn my setting for my length to a five. I don't need to back stitch and I'm positioning it so I'm only going through the seam allowance, not through all the fabric. And I'm going to sew it into place. When basting the zipper tape to the seam allowance, it does not need to be perfect. We really just want it to stay kind of in this centered spot that we just pinned it. So as long as you can get started um, down a little ways from the metal um, that's fine. I couldn't get my foot to, to fit here because of this tab. So I came down just a little ways and I'm pretty close to the edge. And again, that's okay. As long as I'm attaching the two just temporarily, we know we're basting. So it's not meant to be a permanent stitch. I'm just kind of, I want to hold it in place. So that's fine. I don't need to back stitch because I'm just temporarily holding this down. And then I'm gonna come over here and do the other side. Again, I don't have the fabric open like this because if I did that, I'd be stitching through the actual skirt. I've 
opened it out sideways, so I'm just going through the seam allowance. And I'm gonna base just as far as I can to get the zipper to stay put. You can see what I mean, I couldn't get quite far enough up here. So when you get as far as you can, just cut it and you're good. So next I need to actually switch my presser foot. This is what is called a zipper foot. So I'm going to lift the tab on the back here and swap out for a zipper foot. And very important, I need to also change my needle position because if I can show you here, the needle is going to hit the zipper, um, the presser foot. So I need to come over here and change my needle position by turning this inner dial and it's going to move my needle. I want it to be to the right. So the directions then say to on the outside stitch one fourth inch from my seam along and up, making a U shape. I'll show you what it looks like in the direction. So it says to stitch basically around the zipper from the outside. This is the inside that we already basted. So I'm going to trust that I did a good job with that and sew around the outside. So when sewing the zipper into place, I wanna position my zipper foot on the seam. So that puts it at a 1 4 inch distance. And this is a real stitch, a permanent stitch. So I changed my length to two and a half. I'm going to back stitch all the way to the top. And then I'm going to keep my presser foot against that seam. Now, I wanna only go to the end of my zipper, so I can actually feel where the tape ends, and I can feel the metal tab through the thickness. So it might help to mark this before you begin sewing. I can feel it here, so as soon as I've crossed the metal piece, I'm ready to pivot. I'm gonna come right across and it might help to turn your hand wheel so that when you turn, you are still one fourth inch away and still lined up. And again, that foot is right in line with the seam. And you'll feel that metal tab kind of in your way. So get as close as you can the way to the top and back stitch. So you can see mine isn't perfect. It's uh, a little crooked at the top. I did use red thread so it's very obvious. You'll use matching thread but I think if this happens to you or if I'm if I were to go back I would seam rip this top portion and do a little back stitch here and straighten it up so it looks more professional. But for the sample, I am just going to move on and show you the final step. So the final step is to actually seam rip where we basted. So you're going to slide your seam ripper through to break these stitches open. And they were just basted, so they should come out really, really easily. Um, still be careful sliding, sliding your seam ripper through. And you're gonna go all the way to the top and what you should find is that your zipper is right in the center and you can now pull it open and close. If you look at it and you notice that it's too far away or you didn't quite catch the tape, we'll adjust it. We could sew closer um, right along here. If it's not perfectly centered, we can fix that too. But for the sample, this is really good practice. Your zipper should pull. At the top here is where we'll put a hook and eye. 
to close the top of the zipper.